Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Home, and I'm very determined today to beat this game. It seems like we are coming close to the conclusion, us being in the courtroom and all. So let's attempt this. What month is it currently? It is January. Here comes another instance where we have to keep restarting the game until we get it right. Well, maybe we don't have to. Because apparently... Apparently we do have to beat them in order to progress, so... Let's see. God, Elena stopped right when, right when he had to turn. Wow, these guys are very resilient. right after this at the save point I mean how am I supposed to remember that stuff and where was I even supposed to refer to that What's the passcode to the secret bunker in zone 3? Like... Let's see if I can remember this. Uh, this guy looks different. It's like he hung himself. Get a little noose around his neck. That's very pleasant. And that guy is not very resistant. Or weak to metal. Oh man. He really doesn't like meat though. Damn it.
Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't know why I didn't go back to save, but... Wait, what is the name of the shopping mall? Zone 2, that's... That's Jafet's zone. Shit. Is it Bismarck or Vesper? I forgot. I think it's Bismarck. Well, fuck you too, buddy! I'm gonna have to heal up. got two types of tickets. Guys, we can do this. I didn't mean to hit him. Shit. Oh. Fuck. Oh, fuck, Valerie. Best move. Damn it. Angelic Osculate. Oh, that's just what we need. That's the move I've been using a lot. Okay. Revives and or heals an ally. You might notice my eyes a little red. It's not very pleasant. Okay, we've activated them all, so let's see what happens. More cats? Why are you here? You're interrupting my work. What? Yeah, another cat was here, but I don't know where he went. If you would excuse me, I have some paperwork to do. What kind of paperwork do these guys have to do here? Judge! Ah, about time we found you. Wake up, foolish cat. We have to move. Where... Where'd he go? Better. Where is he? I haven't seen him anywhere. Why are you asking me? He... He attacked me. It wasn't like anything I've ever experienced. It was like every time I blinked, a clone appeared. I was seeing multiple batters. I was overwhelmed in combat. Look. Let's just stick together. The batter is still in here with us, and he is not to be trusted. Okay. A 
Surely the room is warped. Ah, there he goes. And there's Zachary. Zachary, just where have you been? This strange location seems to defy the bounds of logic itself. <laughs> I know. We have so much in common. I can't make proper sense of what is real and what's fake anymore. My mind is utterly flabbergasted with the turn of events that has made up my recent travels. Anyways, to answer your question, dear judge, I've been waiting here in this room for a rather long time, I would say. This place seems to be the last location with color. It's rather a mystery I can't uncover. However, now is my turn to ask questions. What exactly happened in that library? Something happened there that wiped our world clean. I got myself into an altercation with another one of my kind. The ending result was not what I planned. <laughs> another cat lying about up there? No, no, no. The garden of that zone was no such feline. Are you sure there wasn't anyone else there? I'm positive, my friend. Zachary, what do you know of Zone 4? <laughs> no more than I know of any other. I just know the garden of the zones and that the guardian of meat is human. Or a guardian to abandon their land. It's no wonder the land fell into the despair you witnessed. I still have one question. How did you end up here? <laughs> Hours after you left my shop, I felt the ground shake. It was a fierce quake that toppled me over. A quick glance out of my window allowed me to catch the bright light that shined from that tower, moments before it erupted. The damage was, was devastating. I quickly scrambled around to find myself a safe place to hide. I tried taking a trip to the nothingness and found myself here. Normally now is the time I would crack a sly one-line joke, but now is not the time for laughter, Pablo. If the Garden of Meat is missing, you must find them. I shall open up my merchandise to you, friend. You may not get another chance to spend the fruits of your labor. Yet we are approaching the end. Well, he's got some new weapons. Let me see here. I have a good amount of CP healers. You know what? I think we're good on healing items. Get this new coat. Carpe diem quam minimum credula postero. Whatever. I've been having this the whole time. Solid collar and a lunar collar. I think I'm good on defensive items though. I would like to see about buying some offensive equipment. Yeah, two is good enough. Magical equipment. Let's get one of those too. I could have sworn it said it was going to increase his attack. Maybe I was looking at the wrong person. Shit. Well, that's a definite improvement right there. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's just sell these items. No, let me buy a collar. Lowest defense goes to Elaine.
nice little smiley face. The note reads as such, game over. Yeah, that's, that's fake. You're not tricking me. <laughs> and it pretends that it deleted your save files. That's cute. Or the beginning. It's the black cat! You must uncover her trial. You must see the truth. The witness. Huh. Thought I was going to say executioner. <clears throat> oh shit, we're playing as her. Cool. Ah, damn it. Charlotte. I don't think there's a guy named Charlotte. So, female confirmed? She's a cutie. But she's weak as shit. No skills. going on with her highly doubt we need to fight and level up just a feeling oh my god come on oh sweet yeah this isn't too bad You saved me, just like I knew you would. I've been waiting for you. You... you can't speak? Not a problem. I can fix that. This'll make you big and strong, like Mama. Me, me scared. Don't be scared. Let's take you home to Mama. Mama isn't home. Neither is Papa, but Papa's never around anyways. Papa was supposed to find a way to make things better. He promised he would find a way to solve everything. Mama stayed, but she's been too busy to spend time with me. You can be my new friend, right? Me, you're not so sure. It feels strange. One day you'll grow big and strong, just like that other cat. You haven't met him yet, but I'm sure you two will get along just fine. We're both guardians, at least I'm supposed to be. I'm having a big party next week and everyone is coming. Mama said she would try and make it, but I don't think she will. I don't want to become a guardian though. I want Papa to come home. I want to feel healthy again. I'm thinking about running away from home. Mama is never around. It will be days before she would even notice I'm gone. You can come with me. There's a library I know of. It's full of books with exciting pictures. If I become a guardian, I won't have time to read comic books anymore. Papa gave me one a long time ago, but I want to read new ones. Well, we should just start moving. I'm excited to see new places and make new friends. I'm sure you'll make lots of friends yourself. I ran away from home that day. It was time I actually... 
Uh, let's see. It was time I got to actually see the world that was being built. I wanted to see it with my own eyes. My friends told me the old world was corrupt, and that the new world they built would be free from that corruption. At the time, I believed them. My zone was a disaster. Me and my friend, we got separated from each other. By the time I returned home, my friends had left. They were all too busy being leaders of their new world. They no longer had time to spend with me. I think Mama got angry. She started sending ghosts out to every corner of the world. She blamed everyone for my disappearance. Everyone by herself. Righto. Aw, oh, sad face. Oh, hi. So somehow you managed to exist even after your corrupted form erupted, causing the world to be cleansed and purified. No! You hurt me! Go away! I, I know now that I'm impure. He made me that way, but it wasn't on purpose. You had no right to hurt me. You have ruined this land, erased it, and burned it into dust. Jake, I hope you're happy with your choices. Oh. The sands of the hourglass fall on us all, and there is no hope for the land to continue. The guardians can no longer give their energy to fuel this world. You will watch as everything you worked for turns to dust. Jake, this land is ours to save, and we shall not let our path be deterred by that runt of a feline. Uh, hello again. I thought you said... Whatever. Hey, your face is gone! Ah! So I'm still not really sure where this is heading. I feel like I'm not going to get the best ending though. I don't like this place a lot. Luckily Papa is here. Today we played together. He offered me a comic. He told me that I was ill so I had to take pills. Hold on. Wow, I'm really fucking hungry right now. I don't like these pills. Oh shit! Guardians? What are you doing here? The judge! Today is the birthday party! The one we are throwing for him! We were afraid you wouldn't show up. <laughs> Look at how small he is. It's just. <laughs> I know our relationship isn't the best, but it'll mean a lot to the boy that you showed up. Speaking of the boy, just where is he? Deedon, he was left in charge with you. I'm afraid I haven't seen him anywhere. This isn't good, guys. She'll be furious if she finds out we lost him. We can't throw a party without him. Where's his mama anyways? He's never around anymore. I'm afraid he ran away. I have no idea where he is. Yeah, he did... He did run away, didn't he? What? He ran away from home? How do you know this? Who cares? This party is pointless without her majesty here. We are wasting time here. We have to work on creating our zones. I guess... I guess we have to cancel the birthday party we planned for him. We have to create our new world, become the leaders of something greater. Well, Judge, sorry you came out of this way for nothing. You should go speak with Her Majesty. We're all busy with our respective zones. We don't have time to go see her. I'll do my best. So their heads were going through the roof, apparently. Or something. Go 
Come on, where's the executioner? This one's called the verdict. This might be the home stretch. Get it? Get it? God, I didn't like fighting this bitch. The first thing she said was, You are finally here, Judge. The wait for your arrival has been a long one, but your way was in vain. Your, your intentions will induce trouble here. Return home. Flexing his wit before the queen, the judge replied, For this land is my home. For this land is my home, your majesty. I cannot return to where I already reside. I will not bow down to the wretched queen that you are. Surprised, but not, all, not at all taken aback, she asked, Why have you destroyed the nation that I have rebuilt? The answer was simple. You have built nothing, queen. Your existence has been a machine of ethereal destruction. Your specters have plagued the land and burned it into the ground. Because of you, not I, the land has fallen to its state of despair. The queen grew disdain for the judge in his arrogant tone. Standing tall, she simply declared, I have done all of this for him. I, I truly wish my children to be happy. Do they look happy now? Do your children look up at you with smiles on their face? No, their faces are riddled with shame. This response eradicated the patience of the queen. You have ruined everything. All that I planned has turned into dust. As a result, I shall send you to the everlasting void you are destined to. What am I looking at here? This looks like a Final Fantasy boss. Yeah, shut up. Let's weaken you to metal. Uh, meat doesn't work. Oh man. I don't want to do that. Oh man. That still doesn't do much. Okay, it seems like she is resistant to everything. It's too powerful for its own good. Also, that fucking music. <laughs> I don't think. One experience point? Uh, 
That's not the final boss. That was very irresponsible of you, Judge. You were there for that day, when we made the land what it was. I'm sorry I failed, my old friend. Queen of a thousand faces, your time has come. I can't save the land, but I prefer this victory over yours. Tell him I'm sorry I missed his birthday party again. I will. Are we in our right minds right now? Yep, yeah, there we go. Yes! The execution. Comes for a judge and jury, but whatever. I knew it. You don't get a chance to spend the fruits. Of you already said that, you asshole. <laughs> You're such a dick. He's got even... He's got even newer armor and weapons. Well, that's a shame. Hmm. I don't think we really need anything. Durate et vos met rebus tevate tecundis. Alright, bro. Whatever. Oh. That's a cool effect. Just to... Just to fade in, but still. I finally found you. What purpose has my mission led me here? What visions haunted my dreams that would cause me to end up face to face with you? A child? What are you doing here, child? I'm scared. Papa will be here soon. You, you tried your best. I don't think there is much hope for us now. Okay, so we're gonna fight the batter instead of Hugo. Aha! I'm here. Judge, move out of the way. Certainly not! You leave me no choice. Oh shit! Okay. Stop now! You vile, evil, and wicked monster! You have not purified this place. You have destroyed, eradicated it. You have immersed it into a pristine nothingness. This was your goal from the start. Your plan to purify the land was a bluff. You want nothing but death. <laughs> You're no saint. I should thank you. Your efforts were for naught. Every move you made brought me closer to my clairvoyant reach. No, that is not true. I left them alone in the safety of their zones. <laughs> Your hands slew the witness. You brought forth the white void that swallowed the world. But I had no choice. The options presented before me left me without a course of action of a better judgment. <laughs> this victory is mine. Jake, prepare to see the true end of this world. I will not lose so close to the climax of my journey. God damn right. Your vacation in progress. Batter, you are guilty. Well, this looks threatening. Why does it say battle time instead of boss time?
Wow, that hardly does shit to her or him. Whatever that wing thing is.
think we're doing good. That is the end, I think. Your demented crusade ends here. Die, batter, with the internal souvenir of not having conducted your sad scheme to its end. Not before I take everything you hold with me. Pablo, watch out! Where the fuck do you guys come from? my own hands, all I hoped to achieve was lost. The color today is gray. No light The color today is gray I can see a bleak horizon Will it ever change Such an unforgiving landscape Where silence paints an image Of an ever ringing We're set end. It seems things didn't go as planned, Jake. So long as I remain, there is still hope. I shall reset your game for you. I'm giving you a second win to make things right. When I see you around, I don't remember our encounter. No one will. But you'll retain the knowledge you learned here. Use that knowledge to bring the world to the proper state it deserves. Goodbye, Jake. This game is resetting and I'll be born new.
I got the bad ending. Well, I'm sorry, Zachary, but someone else is going to have to do that, because I'm done. I'm not going to play that again. So, consensus. Let's see. I would not say it is... Well, now that I think about it... I'm not sure whether Off is better or not. Home obviously had quite a few improvements. The battles were more challenging in some parts. I like the extra little details it added, like the um, items showing up when you use them. What else? Other than the addition of new characters and such, you know, n the new zone, I appreciate the effort put into that, but I can't help but feel that this game is somewhat derivative. I've, I mean, I've played this before. I know it's a spin-off, like a fan game. I did enjoy most of it. It did feel fresh regardless of, you know, whether or not I felt it was derivative. They've obviously put the effort in the new monsters, the new characters, the new events. The endings seem to be a little more subtle in the way that you get them, it seems like. I'm not sure what I forgot to do, or what I did that caused me to get that ending. Maybe I'll look it up, but... Yeah, this... I thought this is a pretty good game. Pretty good. Still can't decide. I mean, at first I thought it was going to be better than off because of the improvements. But it kind of got a little worse as it went on. I think it has to do mostly with the white world. I'm not even sure if the white world is actually mandatory. Maybe, maybe because of the the branch towards the ending I got. Maybe things play out differently if I did something else, but I don't know. I don't know, the way everything was constructed, it seems like that's not the case. <sighs> yeah, I'm not very satisfied with that ending. But... I guess I can always look up the other one. And you can too! Yeah, sorry I had to get that, but I don't know what I did. I don't know what I was supposed to do. I tried. And now my friends are all dead. And the world is dead. Well, I feel like this is ending on an unsatisfying note, but anyway, that's... That's my home playthrough, guys. Thank you very much for watching this. I look forward to my next RPG Maker playthrough. Not sure what that will be yet, but I will choose a game from my queue and get started with it after the next Siren video. So... If you like this playthrough, please press the like button one final time for this home playthrough, and I will see you in the next series.